Day number four brings out a favorite of mine. Hazelnut coffee cake is an ultimate classic and here we go. You'll need 250 gram butter or margarine. I got here a mix of both and mix that with 250 gram sugar until it gets all smooth. Naturally, the butter and or margarine has to be at room temperature. When it is all smooth, you can gradually add four eggs. This has to be done one by one until each of them is fully incorporated, else it will curdle. I mean, I was careful and it curdled a bit, so be more patient than I was here. While that continues mixing, get your 375 gram flour and add a package of baking powder, as well as 200 gram grated hazelnuts. Add two packages vanilla sugar or just a tad of vanilla extract as well. Then finally, you can add 100 milliliters of strong coffee. I use Turkish coffee as that is the strongest I got at home. I made it beforehand and let it cool off. You can of course toss the coffee and the flour mix in all at once, but as usual, I like to interchange while adding the ingredients. By the way, you don't need to make this with hazelnuts, so you can of course add any other nuts in this cake. But the hazelnuts have a certain and strong taste to them once they have been in the oven. A few crushed walnuts would be great in this too, but sadly I'm allergic to them. But you should give it a try. Moving on! Add the batter to a baking tin that you have prepared beforehand and off to the oven. Depending on how deep your baking tin is, you'll need to bake this at 170 degrees Celsius for at least 20 minutes if your tin is shallow or up to 45 minutes if it is as deep as mine here. Just be very careful and know your oven. You don't want to burn or have the cake raw, you know? Once it has cooled off, you can enjoy this beautiful treat. But I need to say this, the longer you let this stay, the better it tastes. I had once a piece left after a week, yeah I know, it's weird, and I must say it tasted the best. Well, at least try to wait 24 hours before tasting it. You will definitely taste a difference. This was day four, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, the recipe is in the description below. See you tomorrow for day five of the Tasty Escapes video advent calendar.